Hello there. It's pretty much impossible to grow enough homegrown peas. They're just too good. You know summer's finally arrived when you can pick those first glorious pods, each one packed with tiny parcels of deliciousness. Starting your plants off in lengths of guttering like this one here is a great way to gain a head start and enjoy an extra early crop. So here's how to do it. The secret to an early crop of peas starts with selecting the right variety. Choose a variety of pea described as being early or very early. These types tend to be the hardiest and quickest growing of all varieties, giving you an immediate advantage. Of course, sowing any type of pea this way can help, while your soil is still too cold or wet from winter for sowing directly outdoors. It's also a great way to outwit mice, which can sometimes dig up and eat the freshly sown seeds while you're waiting for them to germinate. To make your pea gutters, you'll need standard house guttering. Cut longer sections into more manageable lengths to make them easier to handle when full of potting soil and seedlings. Use a hacksaw to cut them down to size. For your sowing medium, use a standard multi-purpose potting soil or your own seed sowing mix if you prefer. You'll also need some sort of protected environment to start your seeds in, such as a cold frame or greenhouse. Short lengths can even be placed on a bright windowsill. Now for the fun part. Fill the guttering halfway with potting soil, then sow your seeds. There's no need to be too precise with this, but aim to space the seeds about 1 to 2 inches or 3 to 5 centimetres apart. Top up the guttering with more potting soil, then gently pat down to firm. Place the guttering on a bench in a greenhouse or tunnel, or into a cold frame if it gets warm enough. Water thoroughly using a watering can fitted with a rose. Depending on the weather, you may find you don't need to water again until it's time to plant them out, but it's always worth checking by pressing your finger into the soil to check it's moist but not sodden. It won't take long for the seedlings to appear. When they reach about 2 to 4 inches or 5 to 10 centimetres tall, it's time to plant them outside into soil that's rich and well drained and in a sunny position. When you're ready to plant, simply use a spare piece of guttering to make a furrow just the right size for your seedlings. Now transfer your plants. You can do this by carefully sliding out one section at a time, either from a complete length of guttering or by dividing the potting soil up into 6 inch or 15 centimetre sections like this, then sliding the section out with your fingers. Once the plants are in, firm down the edges and water to settle them in. Most varieties will need some sort of support. You can use branched twiggy sticks such as these for the shortest varieties. For taller types, install some netting or pea mesh between stakes. In some areas, birds such as pigeons will treat young pea seedlings as a tasty snack. They can demolish a whole row in a day. Protect seedlings by suspending netting on stakes above the plants, or place bottle cloches over each seedling with the top open for ventilation. Peas should find their own way onto their supports. Keep the ground free of weeds and water plants in dry weather. You can add a layer of mulch around the base of plants to help lock in soil moisture. The pods are ready to pick when they are swollen to the size you prefer. Smaller ones are usually sweeter and, fresh from the pods, they make perfect healthy snacks to share. And that's it. Easy, isn't it? Have you grown peas this way? If you have, then let us know how you got on and which types you grew by dropping us a comment below. And if you found this nifty idea handy, then be sure to subscribe because we'll be bringing you lots more hints and tips like this over the course of the growing season. I'll catch you next time.